Before we begin, a couple of uh, disclosures. The first is that um, this discussion was to be more or less a tripartite. So Mark Tully were, was initially um, supposed to be moderating this discussion, and you know, in a very charming and uh, self-effacing manner, he had to seek our permission, seek permission from us, because of a family event. So we should have said, fine. And as uh, Jeffrey and I were discussing how we should have this conversation, Jeffrey absolved me of having to say good things about him and his book. Now, having learned from our neighbors, I did not do the same, which explains the very fulsome praise you heap on me. So thank you. Uh, when I, this is in the book. So when I say neighbors, so we extended something called the most favored nation, MFN status, to our neighbors some 20 some years ago, which is yet to be reciprocated. So this is Pakistan. And um, so, so I, I'm very happy I didn't absorb you of that. Um, Jeffrey is, um, I think, publicly known to be one of the most prolific writers and journalists of his time. Um, if you do not believe friends and well-wishers like I, he's the recipient of a Pulitzer Prize, first of many, I'm sure. Um, but apart from all of his uh, professional accomplishments, I was extremely uh, charmed and taken in by Courtney, Jeffrey, and their family of especially how they make every place their home. So the book is entitled Love Africa, which tells you a lot about how they felt about Africa. Um, right across from a highly respected government-backed business school. The plot he was able to purchase was about 100 meters off the main road, hence access was through a dirt road unlike the larger B school, the gates of which opened onto the main road to welcome students and visitors. Mr. Kumar's burning ambition was to also have access from the main road, legitimizing his claim as a worthy younger challenger to the incumbent institution of learning. His problem was a greedy landowner who refused to sell to Mr. Kumar at a fair price. The landowner knew how important direct road access was and demanded several times the market price for his coveted piece of land. Predictably, all talks broke down. A pensive Mr. Kumar was driving around his greedy, or savvy, depending on whether you're on the sell or buy side, neighbor's property, to get to his school when he spotted a peepal tree. Also, so, reunification, maybe. Um, but in the book, I'm a little bit more um, uh, sanguine about uh, a, some sort of a confederation along the lines of the EU. Now, my friends from the EU I don't know whether they'll scoff at this idea or not, but you know, to my mind, just to simplify this, um, the two great wars essentially were made in Europe, more or less, and um, caused great grievance amongst the people, the peoples of Europe. And um, the process of building EU was a 50-year-long process. I mean, I'm talking about EU, EC, the Monterey Union, all of it. Right, so, and that's everything, that's the visa, Schengen visa, that's the euro, that's all of that. Um, India and Pakistan have been you know, individual nations for little over 50 years. Just to put into perspective the time scale. So if we are given another 100 years or more, and I, I think there's something to be said about, uh, you know, sometimes some problems can just be solved by the next generation because sometimes you just need time to heal and, you know, fresh pair of eyes and the rest of it. Um, but if you know, I've been trying to, to not be too judgmental. I didn't know nearly as much about India as I did about Africa before I arrived. I had been kind of walking in the shadow of this passion of mine to be in East Africa from when I was 18 to 35, and then I got the job, and then I spent a, a decade doing that. So I knew a lot about East Africa before I arrived. I don't know that much about India, and that was part of the draw, was to have a new adventure, to discover a new part of the world, to be on that really steep part of the learning curve, um, and I'm still there, and it's hard because I'm, I'm kind of, you know, my job is to write about India as if, as if I'm an expert in authority on India, and I'm not, 
And so I try just to get as many different viewpoints as I can in all the work that I do because I don't, I don't know what she's, I, I can't, I, I, it's like when I would read these stories in East Africa written by people who just arrived, they were missing the, the nuance. The, the facts were fine. Uh, and sometimes they're very well written, but they just weren't kind of understanding the forces behind the scenes. And that's how I feel here.